hands together and welcome our very talented keyboard and guitar player, Mr. Ted Gowan. You know what, actually, we're going to do that one more time and you're going to give him a really big, huge round of applause because he has been pissing out his ass all day long. He's very sick. Please welcome our very talented, very handsome, very sick guitar player and keyboard player, Mr. Ted Gowans. How's your butt? <laughs> so, can you imagine how fun it is to be in our band? <laughs> Alright, next. Please, give him almost as big a round of applause because he's always pissing out his ass. The talented and handsome, lovely drummer of ours, Mr. Johnny Andrews. I don't know if you piss out your ass ever. Probably, we all do. It happens to the best of us, really. Not in Steel Train, though. They told us last night they don't do that kind of thing. But anyway, please give a huge round of applause for the lovely and talented Sean Schubert. We're going to play one last song. Everybody says it every time you go to a concert, I'm sure. The band stands up at the front and tells you they're, you're the best fans that a band could ever want and that you've had an amazing time and blah, blah, blah. You've heard it all, but honestly, Sarah and I have been touring now for 12 years and one of our first shows in America, in fact, our first show in America, unless I'm completely and totally crazy, was here in Austin, Texas at South by Southwest. True. It's totally true. It was an absolutely, it was an absolutely horrible showcase. We did a terrible job. I, I broke a string, two songs in. All the industry were there. I was like, this is it, we're fucked. We're gonna have to go to university. <laughs> Actually, when we, when I got home from Austin and our first South by Southwest, I was dating this girl that I had gone to high school with and I got into, um, I got into, like, my mom picked us up from the airport and we were, uh, we were 19 and, and my mom drove us back to our house and my girlfriend came over and she came down into my room and we got into the bed and I wept. You what? I wept. I cried. She I, cried. I, I cried. I don't, I, the way that wept sounded, sounded like we fucked. Yeah, it's, it was weird. We did it. I was like, why are you telling this story? No. I came home from South by Southwest and we went to my mom's house and we got in the bed and we fucked. <laughs> what? Ridiculous. No, we didn't. No. In fact, in fact, in fact, it took me months to get over South by Southwest. I didn't have sex for years. No, that's not true. But I did, I did, I cried and cried and cried and she was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, we were horrible. <laughs> like, I mean, we were so devastated by South by Southwest that we were so afraid to play it the second time. And then I had an amazing time the second time. Yeah, it, was fun. it was really good. Because, um, because also I was 21, so I mean, I was mostly drunk the entire time. Okay. The story got derailed a bit. The point is, the point is, the point is not what Sarah did with her girlfriend. More importantly, <laughs> It's what she didn't do. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, because then you were sad and heartbroken and you wrote songs and we got here. And then you're all here to celebrate that with us. So thank you. We're gonna play this one last song, but thank you from the bottom of our hearts on behalf of Holly, Miranda, Steel Train, and Tegan and Sarah. We appreciate that you bought tickets to this show. So we thank you so much. There's a war. 